This is a video about ultrasound in the diagnosis of endometriosis, ABCDE. My name is Suzanne Johnson and I'm a gynaecologist from Southampton. Looking for DIE in the bladder and ureter, I usually do this last because I ask people to come with an empty bladder and so during the rest of the scan the bladder has been filling up a little bit, allowing me to see it better uh, at this moment. So this is where I'm looking, I'm looking in the area of the trigone and the base and looking at the lower ureters and this is what it looks like. In a longitudinal view again, there's the urethra, there's the bladder and that is where one of the ureters is inserting into um, the posterior bladder wall at the trigone. And I'll show you, I'm going to do in the longitudinal plane, I'm sweeping from left to right and you'll see both ureters uh, enter the bladder. So this is where you need to look. This is where the ureter there comes into the bladder. There it goes. Ureter into bladder. I'm going, there's the urethra. I'm going out the other way now. And there is the other ureter. There's the left one. Passing through the urethra out the other side. And there is the right ureter. This is how you know it's ureter. This is the lower ureter and you can see vermiculation, completely normal. It's like peristalsis of the bowel. And so this is urine that's entering the bladder here at the top of the trigone. And if you look transversely, it looks like this. So this is the, the right ureter entering the bladder at the top of the trigone. This is a jet of urine uh, seen on color Doppler. And the other side uh, is also emptying beautifully. So that's normal. This is DIE in the posterior bladder wall and here you can see a huge lump of DIE in the posterior bladder wall. Quite unusual and quite unusual to have it that badly. It's usually a lot more subtle. The ureters can also get involved with DIE. It can be at the point where they enter the bladder or it can be much more commonly at the back of the cervix and that's where you need to be looking. And most ureters that are affected by DIE is by uh, external compression and fibrosis of the surrounding tissues and occasionally it's muscularis in the, mus in the DIE in the muscularis layer itself. And here you can see there's that ureter as it just comes out of the bladder. I'm tracking it laterally. There's the ovary and there it becomes very wide. This would be where it's being pinched. So you just go to the bladder and you look at where the ureter uh, enters the trigone and then you track it laterally um, toward the pelvic side wall, toward the ovary and then you have to look above the ovary. And you can see that here. This is the lower end of the ureter. This is as it's glued to the ovary and it's dilated at this point and you can see that here. And you can see that the ovary is fixed to the pelvic side wall and it is trapping the, the ureter there. And this is a 3D image. You can see this is the nodule of DIE in the pelvic ligaments. You can see these little um, tongues, protrusions of tissue as they um, almost look like they're invading the, the ligaments. But you have to look above that so you need to increase your depth of field to look uh, above the ovary uh, and you know it's ureter you may or may not be able to see vermiculation it's not a vessel because on color doppler this is what a vessel looks like and this is not lighting up it's the ureter there's the dae this is a different case this is a longitudinal view of the uterus this is an adherent ovary and here you can see uh, a dark lesion that doesn't light up with color. You can see some, a nodule there with fibrosis and if you look at the video then you can see there's some vermiculation and the um, ureter becomes very uh, uh, adherent here to the back of the cervix and when I looked at this patient's kidney you can see that she's got moderate hydronephrosis. Uh, this is yet another case where again this is this is in the retrocervical area uh, where you can see that there's a nodule of deep infiltrating endometriosis 
This is it on 3D when you often get a more clear view and you can see the, the ureter is very dilated above it and normal below it. And this patient had severe hydronephrosis on that side. And this is usually silent and asymptomatic, so you need to go and look for it in women who have got DIE. And that's it. Thank you very much.